Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Five tawny ports in front of me and I'm looking forward to it. Um, four of them are those type where they say 10 year old, 20 year old, 30 year old, 40 year old. Uh, so I've got two 10 year olds and two 20 year olds. Uh, we're in 2013. It doesn't mean that uh, uh, two of them are from 2003 and two of them are from 1993. It just means they've been blended to taste uh, as if they uh, are, are 10 years old. So they've, they've got some young stuff in there and they've got some older stuff in there. Uh, but the first one, um, it's just, it's Neport Senior Tawny. Um, I gather the average age here is about five or six years, maybe or six or seven or something like that. But anyway, let's give this one a whirl. Bit of caramel, a uh, bit of fresh fruit. There's, there's, um, uh, it's, it's funny, it's, it's like on that halfway house between freshness and maturity. So there's a, a little bit of almost like red berry freshness. I don't think of that with port. Um, uh, but then there's also uh, some of the raisin, uh, some of the walnut, the uh, yeah, some of that slight furniture polish. It smells, um, doesn't smell like it's going to be too um, too sweet. I mean, you've got this choice when you fortify um, your wine if you're making port. Uh, the earlier you fortify it, the sweeter it, it's going to be, the, and, and the more spirit you have to add. The later you fortify it, uh, the less spirit and the drier the wine. Here it feels like it's going to be on that slightly drier, less spirity side. And there's a lovely fresh, it's, it's, it's a really weird wine, freshness and maturity. Um, uh, I, it's got a, a liveliness and a, a vivacity about it, uh, but the fruit is mellow. Uh, it's not too bouncy and boisterous. It's got that relaxed, nutty, uh, aged fruit character. Um, and um, I like that, a really nice start to the tasting. Um, so the next four, um, a 10 year old and a 20 year old from Taylor and Fonseca. Starting off with Taylor's 10 year old, give it a whirl. Now this smells sweeter and richer. Um, and uh, also I notice, um, it's strange, I mean th this has um, been in barrel longer, but I notice almost like more of a, uh, a smoky new wood imprint. So it may be that the younger stuff that they put in have got some time in, in, uh, um, in newer wood and that, that character is coming through. Uh, it feels like it's going to have uh, uh, be a richer, rounder, uh, fleshier wine, uh, but uh, sweeter. And yes, it's, it's funny. I, I notice more of the spirit here and more of the sweetness coming through when I smell it. It's weird. It's it's it, um it's this is uh, the, the the senior is supposed to be six or seven years old, and this is supposed to be ten years old. It actually, feels like a younger, more boisterous wine. And I don't know whether it's just. Some of the stuff that they've used to um, to br to get that average age to ten um, is almost showing itself um, showing being a, bit, a little bit too flamboyant. I like them both. I prefer the I think the Neport is the uh, uh, is the one I, I I prefer of those two at the moment. Um, so let's try the Fonseca ten year old. Now this smells more mellow um, and it it it, it looks um, it's, it looks fresher in colour. It's weird. It's a, it looks to be a younger colour, uh, but it smells older. It doesn't I don't notice as much of that um, young spirity uh, sweet kick in as in, as in the first one. Um, but uh, I do notice it, it feels like that there's uh, there's going to be a richness about it. Uh, but I don't know whether that's going to be a richness that translates into sweetness. Let's have a see. And that's more what I expect from a uh, uh, ten-year-old Tawny. The tailor today was feeling, looking a little very, yeah, looking very boisterous and um, like young horse-like. Here, um, there is a juiciness, a roundness, a richness, a suppleness, um, and um, it feels, it, yeah, it feels a finer wine today. It feels um, uh, that there's um, there is richness and roundness there. Uh, but it feels like uh, whoever's put the blend together um, has done so, so with a more sympathetic hand. Uh, I noticed um, not, not the freshness of fruit that was in the tailor, uh, but I noticed more, more of those figgy raisin, the walnuts, uh, that, that little bit of um, old furniture coming through and less of a spirity kick than the uh, tailor. So I don't know whether they've fortified it later uh, on, on average later, uh, but um, for me, a, a classier wine. Um, probably prefer it to the knee port. Yeah. Uh, let's try the 20 year old. So the first one is Taylor's 20 year old. And this, uh, this is more what I was expecting uh, from the, from the Taylor style. This is, this is really nice and gentle and mature, uh, but uh, this mix of, um, maturity and freshness. Uh, so there's a fresh, uh, almost like orange peel zest, uh, to it. Uh, but then there's these old figgy, slightly leathery, old furniture characters coming through. And um, yes, it smells good. Yeah, rounded, warm, welcoming, complete. Um, 
I, I, I love this for its um, uh, its generosity, but then its freshness. I mean, I, I, I think about Tawny Port as, uh, as being, um, I, I, people talk, what, which is better, Tawny Port or Vintage Port? Vintage Port, of course, but um, to be honest, I, what I like about Tawny Port is you open a bottle and you can keep it open for a few weeks. It doesn't last a few weeks in my house, but... Um, um, uh, because it's done its ageing in barrel, it's, it's maturing there. It doesn't need to uh, uh, to be drunk quickly, otherwise it will have lost its freshness. It's already lost some of that freshness in, in barrel, but it's acquired other things on the way, and um, it's those extra layers of flavour, so you get these, it's lovely texture. Tannins have all precipitated out in, in the barrels, so you're left with this something that's smooth and velvety. But then you, you, when you think it's going to be too smooth, there is an intensity of fruit and there is this zestiness that kicks in. Very tasty wine. Let's see whether Fonseca can top that. And that smells delicious. Um, and what's great about it is it smells that... Um, it's strange, but young, young ports uh, that have just been... If they've, if they've had like a... A couple of years in barrel, young vintage port. They're all dark fruit, uh, tawny ports. They're going into these. Um, uh, well, it, 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 there's the figs in there, but there's also these the citrus fruit appears, and then you get these strange exotic thing. There's almost something like um, crystallized pineapple. I've never no idea where something like that comes from. Uh, then these little um, the, the, the bits of the nuts. There's the bit of the furniture polish. Um, and it's one of those wines that you can just sit and yeah, swirl around your glass like that and keep coming back to it. It smells, it smells good each time, but they're different each time. And the tailor was good, but this, um, I don't know what it is. Maybe it, it just feels like a more pure, harmonious, um, complete wine. Um, there's... Uh, the tailor maybe had a few little idiosyncrasies, which were... Part of it, parts of its character, but here it's just an extra layer of confidence, um, and it's not a bigger wine by any means. It's a more fragrant wine. Um, it's one of those that, that it, it's a silkier wine, um, and uh, so it's a more floral, more fragrant wine. Um, and uh, sweetness-wise, they're probably on, I don't know on a par with each other, but um, uh, this one still feels. Uh, it, it, it feels it's got a, a vigor about it. it it's not that it's a uh, uh, they, they, uh, it feels younger, but it feels like at the same age it's more vigorous and uh, uh, still got um, plenty to plenty to say for itself. Not that the Taylor didn't, but I think um, uh, the Fonseca um, was really shining. Actually, in both of these uh, pairs, uh, the Fonseca was the uh, uh, was the one I preferred. N uh, the, t the tailors were good, but I think it was the Fonsecas that were even better. And the Neeport was pretty good to start with. So, nice set of five wines. And uh, the good news is that uh, I've got most of the rest of each bottle to go at. <laughs> I'll be thinking of you as I try them. See you soon.